Welcome to this series on Best of GMAT. I'm Sainat Katurubili with a new data sufficiency question from algebra. Yes, before you start watching the answer explanation to this question, I would recommend you to pause the video for two minutes, try work the question on your own, and then resume back watching this video. Certainly this will add value to your learning. Now, coming to this question, here you see is asking you to work, how old is A? This being a DS question, first write down ADS class BC, and it's a value-based DS asking you to work the age of A, right? Now let's step into working with statements. Now treat well, the statement one alone, and here it's given that the difference between the ages of A and B is three. So normally people write down this into an equation as A minus B equal to three, right? But if you confine yourself to an equation A minus B equal to three, that's where you fall into trap because he's not told you who among A and B is elder. So you can't be limiting yourself, framing up an equation as A minus B equal to three here. You can, this can also be B minus A equal to three. Don't you think so? Because it's not given who among these two, A and B is elder. If A is elder than B, then A minus B is three. If B is elder to A, then B minus A is equal to three. So because it's just given that the difference between the two people ages is three, right? Now, so over here, you just have a linear equation with two variables, which won't be sufficient enough to arrive at a definite value as an answer to A. Hence, we can strike off AD. Now let's move into statement two. Let's treat the statement two alone. Here it's given that the sum of ages A and B is 11. You can write this as A plus B is equal to 11. It doesn't matter whether B plus A, even if you write it B plus A, it's all the same, right? A plus B equal to 11. Now this is another linear equation with two variables. You do not have a definite values to A and B because it can be A plus 8 plus 3, 11. It can be 6 plus 5, 11. You know, you don't have a definite value to A and B. So is the reason B is gone. Now when you club these both statements, you see that, and you know, C stands for combination and you club both the statements. Here, if you work with this equation, these two equations, you have one value of A, that is A will be seven in this case. If you work with these two equations, you see B will be equal to seven in this case. Are you getting it? If A is seven, then in this case, B value will be four. If B is seven, then A value will be four over here. So you don't have a definite answer to A. So is the reason C is gone and E must be the answer to this question. So in fact, in this question, the trickiest part is in the statement one, you know? So somebody trying to work the question in a rush, just coming to conclusion that A minus B equal to three may fall into a trap answer C. Are you getting it? So this is where you need to be careful. Now, hope you people followed an answer explanation to this question. I would recommend you to practice a similar question and the question which is on the screen here. Try work this question and post your answer in the comments. I would be eagerly waiting to see your comments. Good luck.